Hello. What I want to do is show the development of a simple website. And what this website will do is it will be a simple product catalog. Guests will be able to go in and just review different products. And uh, administrative users will be able to add, edit, or delete to the product catalog. This video section will be divided in six parts. The first part will be the development of a simple master content page with navigation through through all of them basically it's the development of a template part two we will incorporate a database now this database will be used strictly through uh, the presentation layer therefore what that means is that the presentation layer will have access to a lot of these different elements such as adding editing or deleting even selecting from the database part three We'll divide it a little bit more and what that will do is it will create business components creating a three-tier system meaning you will have a presentation layer business components and then a data layer where all three interact part four will create a user access level meaning we will require a user ID and password for the manage product section which will allow adding editing or deleting products and lastly I'll introduce web services concepts so that just you have an idea of how this is done and so let's go ahead and start with the first part and in the first part what I want to do is show you where you can find some templates that are that are relatively easy to manage and are free and what I do is I use open source web design Oops, open source web design.org and this provides a bunch of different templates as you can see over here and so you can scroll all these and just decide what you want to use it doesn't really matter I already have one set so I'm gonna use the one that I have so let's go ahead and create a new project in Visual Studio and it will be a web project ASP web project and we'll call this product catalog alrighty and it will be empty and we can do some reference to API and web forms which is fine and okay and this will create the environment you'll notice the web.config file which will be important your app data which eventually when we get there will add the database to it and so forth and what I want to do now is I want to move my templates into this section so the templates that I downloaded I believe are hmm, where did I put them I believe it was here and I think it was in yeah this was probably it let's just open this with Google and take a look and yes we can definitely use this alright so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy index and images actually not index just images and I'm gonna copy it to wherever this Visual Studio project was created in my case it was in documents Visual Studio 2013 projects and it was called product catalog so there it is and it'll be in this one product catalog and I can paste it right here images now what I need to do is create a master page and add the HTML stuff that I have in the in the template that I downloaded into that part into the into the master page and so I'll go back to my template internet music and this is pretty much what I want to do I want to edit this so I want to convert this HTML into that other section so let's go ahead and start that so in here I'm gonna go ahead and add new item and I'm gonna look for master page web forms master page and I'm gonna call this site.master and I'm gonna go ahead and click on add and there it is so as you can see my HTML is right here now what I want to do is I want to replace the HTML I want to copy this HTML that I have here and I want to, I want to replace everything here even though I'll eventually need these content placeholders so that that is the portion where the content page fills with the with the data that I want even though I want that I'm gonna delete it for now and what I want to do is delete the entire 
part. I do not touch this part on top because that's what controls the master page. And so I'm going to paste here, save, and if I click on design, you'll be able to see the, the full design of it. So now what I need to do is I need to decide where I want to place my content. So meaning this is going to be the master page. This will show up on every page. Obviously because I want to manage content, what I probably want to modify is this. This div left, instead of it showing div left here, what I wanted to do is show my content here so that this part here repeats in every page, this part on top repeats in every page, and this part on bottom also repeats on every page because that's what would make sense. You have your navigation uh, menu here, you have some stuff that shows up on every page such as information and your top headers. So here in div left, what I want to do is I want to place my content placeholder. So I'm going to click on source and I'm going to look for where div left begins and as you can see it says div class left so what I want to do is I want to delete everything in here now you don't want to delete this div class you want to delete from the bottom so we're gonna start here on the top and we're gonna select everything all the way to here and this is where the end div tag ends and there we are so we have the left portion and now I can what I can do is I can add a content placeholder so there it is content placeholder and I could just double click on that and change the ID to content placeholder body now you can rename this anything just don't leave the default name because it, it's not a very good thing it's you know it doesn't make any sense you want to rename these things to names that you would be able to identify later on alrighty so now when I click on design you'll notice that I have this this purple thing here this rectangle and everything else looks exactly the same and so what I can do now is add pages so let's go ahead and add a page for my default my home page sorry my mouse goes crazy sometimes alright there you go add new item and it's very important that this time you select a web, a, uh, web form with master page this one don't select the other one because it won't it won't incorporate a master page so I will I will hit default.aspx and I will click on add and it's gonna ask me for what master page I want to include now you could always have multiple master pages and this is good for example if you're doing a multi a multilingual website such as English Spanish and so you you wanna have one master page show you everything in English and the other master page show you everything in Spanish that's excellent for that type of stuff or any time where you might have an administrative page where that has a little bit different functionality than the other one but the theme and the theme will look sort of similar okay so I'm gonna hit site.master and OK and there it is this will be my main page default now always get into the habit of changing the title where is that title well I guess uh, Visual Studio changed in the uh, in the last one before in 2008 you would have to change the title just so that when you open it up it doesn't it doesn't show you uh, no title or, or um, empty title okay so now we can focus on content so this here will be this will be my home page alright and we can add maybe a products page also no item and again web form with master page and this will be my product page also site.master that'll be good enough and now we want to add another one for manage products okay so just to give you an overview this will be the main page the home page this will be the products page where all of my products will be listed and this will be my manage products page where people with certain access will have the ability of editing editing or deleting product and that will be the basics of this page so what I want to do now is modify these links here on the bottom so that they 
link to the other stuff and maybe modify a little bit of all this stuff so show you a little bit how this works so on site.master you can start making these modifications so instead of internet music for example let's go, go into into here so instead of internet music let's just take all this out and put welcome to my products page what would you like to order all right and there you go now you can delete some of this stuff so for example this stuff we don't need we can go in here and just completely delete this part and as you can see it's gone and we can change this paragraph to whatever we want so basically make all the modifications that you want I'm gonna leave a lot of this stuff because you, you kinda get the, the idea okay so on the bottom here what I want to do is I want to modify this so that it includes links to the pages that I have and not all this stuff so let's go over here and what I want to do is I want to I want to leave the disclaimer and all that stuff because this is somebody who developed this it wasn't us but what I want to do here is modify these so for example this will be home and the href will just be slash default aspx and this contact let's change this instead of contact it will be the products page so we'll say products I'm sorry product underscore page dot aspx and this will be products and then this part will be manage products and right here slash manage products dot aspx and then I can delete the rest let me make sure I'm not deleting anything that I shouldn't and uh, let's delete this disclaimer and leave his CSS hyperlink and so forth so right there what I did is I changed the footer to match the pages that I have so now every page that inherits this ma this master page will have these if we look at the fault and we look at the bottom you'll notice that it also changes this, that stuff home products manage products so it's no longer what I had before it's now what I changed that's the beauty of master pages you change it once and everything else mo is modified automatically now let's ch change these search categories but instead of using hyperlinks what I want to do is I want to use C sharp enough C sharp visual studio embedded uh, embedded products embedded um, items so instead of using HTML components what I want to do here is let's delete this and put our stuff so here what I want to do is delete all this stuff in bar and maybe add something like a hyperlink this one and we can call this hyperlink products and call this products so you'll notice instead of this being the hyperlink that we used before which is the ahref and the the um, the page source we're actually using an asp.net hyperlink if we go to design you'll see it here and this products we can modify the navigation URL using the properties so in here we can just click on products and this will now take us to products so if I if I run this by hitting F5 we will notice oh well, there it is this is my home page and then all this stuff comes up and I can click on products and it works exactly the same way as if I clicked here the difference being that one of them uses HTML and the other one uses ASPX components alright and now the last thing that I want to do in this part one is show you a little bit of how to manage state now websites are traditionally stateless meaning it's not like it can hold the it can it can't hold the ability of knowing what event was fired let's say for example a, a regular C sharp application you hit a button and it has an event handler well that event handler 
manages some sort of state meaning it was either on or off and so forth websites don't traditionally have that and so you have to handle state a little bit different and the way you do that is with session variables you can manage session variables and create session variables and as long as the X is not hit on the browser that session variable is still active is still live let's say for example that here on this home page what I want to do is I want to click on a button so let's say we have a button here and it will say let's say enter products now I know this is enter this is simple but alright I'm renaming this to BTN enter products just so I know it's a button always get into the habit of renaming things okay what I want to do here is in enter products when a user clicks on that you'll create an event handler for managing that but what I want to do now is I want to create a session state a session variable and we'll call it let's say temp and what temp will do is it'll just hold oh sorry it will just hold something that says products button was pressed that's all it is I'm just passing it a string and saving it to the, to the session but now I want to do something called server.transfer which means that it will automatically send the user to the next pro to the next page and it will be called it will call product page dot ASPX so it will send the user programmatically to the next page now in the products page what I want to do is create some sort of label regular label nothing nothing different with no text and we'll call it LBL message and what I want to do is when this loads so on product load on page load I'm sorry it will load the session variable into that label so it will say LBL message dot text equals session and I believe I called it temp dot to string and there we are so let's go ahead and try this so I'm gonna run this and I'm gonna click on enter products page and there it is products button was pressed so I maintain state and that's how I can manage state from one to another now there might be times when I don't wanna load this let's say when I don't want to load this every time the page loads because for example if something was reloaded on the page if, if something was recreated let's say I clicked on a button but I didn't go I didn't transfer to another page I, I went there well all of this stuff is going to be loaded again and if it's a complex page it might be a lot of stuff done on memory that you don't want to be redoing over and over again it's not efficient so what you want to do is use the postback fun uh, a postback event it's called is postback right here and what it does is it tells you whether that page was rendered for the first time or it's being loaded again so for example if is postback if this is true I can do something like if postback it means that it's being loaded again then do this well the opposite meaning if it's only the first time not post back so meaning if this is the first time that it's loading go ahead and do this otherwise do nothing and this will create more efficient code alright we're gonna stop part one here part two will deal with databases and incorporating a products uh, products page product I'm sorry manage products uh, page that will add edit and delete products and then be displayed in products page I look forward to, to seeing you guys on that one. Have a great day.